they have a great shot at making the SEC tournament and therefore the NCAA tournament. Uh, yeah, and he changed the speed on it so much. DJ rope. Reeves ropes a fastball into left field for the first base hit of the game. DJ has sometimes started. Hammered, and that's gonna get down. That'll score Reeves. John Rose comes up quickly with it. And it's a double as Ritter was hoping for the overslide. We've seen that this year, but. Thing. Ah, good pitch. And Make it 28. And it likely will be his eighth double of the year. And he's going to take a look, but he'll stay at second base. So Alabama with its second double, 331. And once again, Schultz challenge. And he'll have to play it off the wall. That's back-to-back -back doubles. That's going to turn into a triple for Hammeter because Schultz turned the wrong way on it. Off the end of the bat, and he step can't get there. It's a 3 nothing game. Sam Prater goes inside out for his 36 run batted in. That's off the end of the bat, but Arajah knew is tracking. And that'll do it. However, a comeback or his last time up, but did he get it? The ballpark may not contain that oh, one. Yeah. Nope. That is gone. TJ Collette, home run number 11 for the Wildcats. And Kentucky's on the board, three to one. Ball had a funny sound when it came off his bat. But the power of T.J. Collette sent it right over the fence, and he is having a remarkable year. On the, on the big hill, too. He was Kentucky's Friday night starter. Collette has to make the quick throw. And Jim Jarvis beats it out. Runner goes. How hit about this run. little hit Peyton and run? Wilson. Dumps it into left field. And he'll slide in with yet another extra base hit. That'll get one home. And that's going to be the second error of the inning on a routine ground ball to Chase East step. And it's 4-1 to Alabama. So now they're loaded. First seven. That's going to get one home. Araj new circling. So on the sacrifice fly, it's a 5-1 game. And there's one out. Seven of his last 14, and now that's going to load him up as he wears one. Crimson Tide. But he walked him. Crimson Tide. But he walked him. An RBI for Reeves. Off the fists. John Rhodes on the run, but he can't get it. That scores one. Now it's seven to one, Alabama. And that'll get home another run on the wild pitch. Drew Williamson comes around. In the alley, but playable. Rhodes and Schultz, and it drops. I don't wow. think either one of them saw that ball. Maybe not. Hammered, but right at Rhodes. And finally, that'll do it. Huge damage by Alabama. To oh, he just missed it. That was a good pitch to drive, but instead it went straight up and now straight down. And Alabama wins the series opener by a final score of 10 to 1. The effective is against all kinds of shifts defensively as we are underway with a strike. Bring my keys out and really confuse you. Well, there's he hit another. Wow. Now Colton Kessler says he swung. In on the hands, and John Rhodes draws a beat on it. Out goes East Step. Rhodes almost Woo. overruns it himself. There's that wind again. Jams him, but he goes the other way. T.J. Reeves just short, and here comes Estep. And that's a double for the Wildcats' second baseman. Good effort. And he does it again. That's a fair ball into the corner. 
That's going to score Estep easily, and Schultz snuck a peek, but Hill settle, settle for a double. Oh. Off the fist. Look at here. And that's going to score Schultz. And because he's going, he's able to score. What an at bat for Araj. Kessler back up the middle. Reached out and got it. Fourth base hit this inning for the Wildcats. A new stop to third base. Oh. Hard hit, but again, Williamson is right where he needs to be to retire Plastiak. Off the fists. That's a tough play. Wow. Safe all around. Ritter thought about breaking for home. Peyton Wilson was the only man who had a chance at it, but towering but playable. Reeves and Rose. And it's going to be Reeves battling the wind. Uh-oh. That's hammered. Go back. Look up. It is way out of here. Colton Kessler with a solo shot. His third of the year. And the Wildcats now lead it 3 0. Well, it looked like an off speed pitch, and he did not miss it. Very businesslike as he rounded the bases. John Rhodes wears one for the Wildcats. Again, finding a way to help the team, even though he's struggling a bit. Down the line, that'll score at least one. Ritter makes the turn, Reeves into the corner. They're gonna send both runners as Rhodes scores easily. It's a two-run double for Ryan Ritter, his fourth of the year, and the Wildcats with a 5-0 lead. He'll go the other way, but a good pickup by Jarvis. And that'll do it to go along with his RBI base hit, and that got him. So Harney struggling That's again. That's trouble. Is it going to stay fair? Has put Alabama on the board. That's a two-run shot. And it's a 5-2 game. It's not a grand slam, but he'll take it. That's his 10th home run of the year. He's driven in 36. And Alabama's back in it. Well, in this ballpark with the wind blowing out. Oh, man. A lot tougher oh. balls. Drew Williamson turns one around. Didn't he do the exact same thing last time up? He sure did. In fact, he let off the fifth inning. Good breaking ball, and Ritter with the easy play, but Alabama gets a big fly. Backhand by Ritter. There's the arm, and a pickup mm. by Collette, and he can't hang on. Collette gets one. That's two. Well, that was sweet right there. I was going to say, they converted. <laughs> That's up, but it's playable in the infield. They talk about it. Ritter says, I'll take it. That's the way to do it. And he does. Completely behind him as Peyton Wilson leads things off for the Crimson Tide. It drove in two and scored two and golfs that one into the alley. Cut off by John Rhodes. So the Crimson Tide wasting no time. Two and 21 overall here in Lexington. This could be two, East step. Ritter, not the best throw, but Ritter plenty of arm. That is hammered to center field. And that's out of here. Colton Kessler to the deepest part of the ballpark is having a great Sunday afternoon. His second bomb of the day, and the big blue bomb gives the big blue a 1-0 lead. John Rhodes hammers the ball high and wow. deep and out of here. John Rhodes with his seventh home run, the pride of Saudi Daisy, makes it a 2-0 game.
I mean, this ball is tattooed. Gets him a fastball up. Good to see that. We, it's going to be a breakout sooner or later. Somebody's going to have to pay. Ritter lays one down. That's a pretty bunt. And the crowd appreciated that hustle. Why not? Same kind of bunt. Foot race. Perfect. First pitch swinging. Boy, Denton, that's a rare misplay. That's going to be a tough play all the way. Yeah, that so. may go as a base hit. But the Wildcats just keep putting the pressure. Back at you, I know. Did he? It's hit pretty good. Caden Rose back. <laughs> Goodbye. T.J. Collette with the third big blue bomb of the inning. And the Wildcats are piling up runs. Another smooth pickup by Williamson and great job by Green to cover first. This might be the only, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Go back, look up, goodbye. T.J. Collette. does what so many teams could not do, and that is put up a run on Chase Lee, and the Cats lead by a touchdown. You think he's seeing the ball pretty good now? Yeah, until it disappears into the distance. 0.21, and a new goes the other way. Deep. That's it, good. That's way out. Back-to-back -back bombs by the Wildcats. That's their fifth of the game. And Kentucky leads it 8 nothing. Wow. Well, that's some good opposite field power. So T.J. Collette with two home runs in a game. Field. Oh, my. Did I say infield? Oh, my. Goodbye. John Rose, his second home run of the game. And the Wildcats, for the second time, have gone yard three times in one inning. They lead at nine nothing. <laughs> that game, because it. Ooh. Lee tickles the inner edge and gets his second strikeout, but Kentucky does big time damage. Two average up to 240. Quick bat. Sends it down the line. He's going to make the turn. Gets the bounce off the wall. And he'll make another turn and head for third. Here comes the throw. That's a triple for Cam Hill. Boy, was he booking. He never hesitated. That's not anything you can do. And he step sends him home. So Kentucky, which lost 10-1 on Friday, takes a 10-0 lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Right at Wilson. Well, it's tough to double up Schultz, but he hit the ball so hard. Two out. Oh, my goodness. Go back. Look up. That's three. That is a monster. <laughs> Ryan Johnson move over in the record book. T.J. Collette has gone yard for the third time in one game. Come on, give us a smile, TJ, at a boy. Oh, look at here. Good at bat for Colton Kessler. Pinckney's gonna cut it off and it'll remain a single. But Dick, that's... Strikes out a hot hitter, John Rhodes. But the Wildcats hang up two more. We'll go to the seventh and final inning. Eight to seven. That's high, that's deep, but playable. Jared Shelby's back. The Wildcats complete a one-hit victory and sweep the doubleheader 